Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa from Wild Woman Bushcraft. Today there is a small little update to my self-sufficiency garden. I had a few new animals. I show you the now situation of my vegetable garden and what is new, a few tips and tricks. So if you want, stay tuned. Under this hand pump there is a cistern and tank full of rainwater and when it rains constantly I always had fresh water. This is perfect. I make the decision that I let grow in my glass house this year only melons. I had last year outside melons, but this doesn't work. Maybe it is better here inside of the glass house. And here is another cucumber and some salad and physalis. And you see there are some flowers. I let a part of my salad always growing and let there came flowers. So I had always my own seeds. White currant. I had also black currant and red currant, but the white ones are my favorite. This is a construction to dry the grass, the hay, and it is old and broken, but it is almost enough to let my plants grow here up. I plant here some bees and cucumber and in the background there is a little bit of corn and other plants. You had always to look that the plants are a good combination for each other. Some plants don't want to grow um, close to um, another plant. I had the luck that I had a small creek here through my ground, through my garden and I can use the water for my vegetable garden. Now I'm searching for my ducks, my chickens and my sheep because there are some new animals.
one chicken is actually breeding. Um, it is breeding a few months ago and there was small chicken but um, my chicken always breed outside so there was some animals that killed them. I don't know exactly what it was but this time I let the chicken again breed outside but when the young chicken are out of the eggs I put them in an extra room where they can grow up and then they came later outside. I hope it worked. I've got three new sheep, three female, and tomorrow I've got a new ram. Then I had fresh blood here inside. It is important by the animals that I had always fresh blood, fresh gene, new animals. Otherwise it will be in chest, in chest, in chest and then I had only sick and ill animals. So now I had the new female sheep and tomorrow another male sheep came and I hope that I had then um, healthy um, Lambskins soon. Chappies, <coughs> you're. <coughs> This is a part of my wine. Wine will grow bigger and bigger and bigger. But you want to have big fruits and sweet fruits and healthy fruits. So you had to cut off three... No, no, um, I had to say it other. You had to stand three leaves. Here is the fruit and then one, two, three leaves and then cut. So at this way you get sweet fruits and the wine had enough leaves to make the photosynthesis. I think in the summertime, not only at my house and, and at my farm animals, I think also at the wild animals and the insects. So I had everywhere in my garden small bowls for uh, drinking. Here inside of this old bowl is water and I had the spork inside that the insects came in and out and do not die into the water and at the ground I had also some bowls for animals like hedgehog or something else but you had um, to put always something in that the animals don't die inside of the water This is a day lily and the name said 
the flower is there only for one day and you can eat the whole plant everything the flower the leaves and you can collect it also in the winter time so a perfect vegetable or plant for your um, vegetable garden In this tank came also rainwater and I've got from here the fresh water for the sheep, for the ducks and the chicken. Of course I always refresh the water, open it and let it completely out and make it sober. But um, so I don't need um, water from the house and I had always fresh water here for the animals. Maybe you remember the ducks. I saved them and now they are really really big and I know now what um, what kind of ducks they are they are called Aylesbury ducks they are original from England from the 18th century up there are 
um, they had their denim in England and they had a perfect meat and, and they are very rare. There are not many of them. Uh, we had really much trouble, the ducks and I, because I had hundreds of vegetable plants that are growing in the winter time in my home and um, I take care of the plants and I pick them and um, give them water and then I planted outside in my vegetable garden. Everything is perfect, everything is fine. More than 80 different kind of tomatoes. And then, then, there comes the ducks. And the ducks eat everything. Every single plant that I let grow inside for months. We are really, really in angry after this. Ja, stimmt's? Wir haben geschimpft, gell? But look at them. They are so lovely. I can't be angry for a long time. <laughs> they are the whole day outside. Only in the night they had to come here in the house. And uh, the chicken they are up there are also the whole day outside and they are scratching with their feet in my vegetable garden but the chickens are not so bad like the ducks and now I had to make my vegetable garden safe and I, I planned it again but because of the lovely ducks everything is a little bit late this year but I, I can collect vegetables, I hope. The chicken lady and the rooster think that they can sleep here up um, the hay, but they are not allowed to sleep there because they make their excrements here at the hay. So we bring them outside. My chickens think they can do what they want. They can sleep wherever they want. They can breed wherever they want. No, not in the house. Go outside to breed where the fox is. And they also think they can lay their eggs wherever they want. So, where are the eggs in all of this hay? You had to look for every step. Don't stand up the, a, up the egg. Do you see where the eggs can be? When I want fresh eggs, I had to clamp here up in the hay. Yeah, hay is a good word. Hay was very difficult this year because the tractor um, doesn't work. So we had to make the hay, the grass with the hand, uh, cut it with the hand, and 
then um, put it at the construction to dry. Then it rains and we had to cover it and ah, make it fluffy and in the air again. Then bring everything here um, in the house. There is uh, another hay in another house. And I had to try often if the hay is, if the hay is dry enough because when the, there is a little bit of, um, of wet inside, there um, are growing gas inside and then it can all burn. It is very dangerous, so I had to check it um, from time to time. I don't had enough place in my vegetable garden, so I let grow a few pumpkins here at my fence because the fence is in space that I doesn't use. So here can grow through the fence the pumpkin, and if they are too big, I had to put them into an um, into a bag that they don't scratch because of the high weight. This is my raised garden bed. I had it not because of my hurting back. I had it because in my vegetable garden are so many stones and plants like carrot don't grow um, big if there are many stones in the earth. So here I had an, an stone free earth where all those plants that grow inside of the earth grow better like carrot and here at the end the end there is growing later a cucumber down that i use this place too i make the restriction of the raspberry out of hazelnut trees i've put them in the ground and make them here to the, together with coconut, coconut string. Um, don't cost much money, easy, and I like the, the simple look. This is one of my small herbs garden. I think the herbs knows everyone. The only thing what is special is the borage. This is the plant with the beautiful blue flowers here. Uh, you can eat the whole plant. You can put the blue flowers at your salad. That looks very nice. And you can also eat the leaves. They are a little bit hairy. Not everyone like this feeling. And this here is sweet herb. You can use the, fl uh, the leaves to sweet your tea or something else. This is a small part of my vegetable garden. Here grow salad, tomatoes, paprika, cucumber and beans. Bees a lot of a lot more and this year everything is a little bit small because the ducks eat everything what I planted before. So I had to let it grow again and plant it again. And this year everything is a little bit late. What you see here are branches from my apple tree. I had to cut one of my apple trees this year. Very, um, very strong. And here grows my cucumber up. Of course, cucumber can also grow at the ground, at the earth, but you save space if you um, put it up and let it grow up. And now the cucumber should grow up here at the branches. This blue ocean here is all borage. Um, it grows every time from self. I don't have to put seeds here inside. Um, it grows without I without doing. And I had to put pl some plants outside and give it the the rabbits because otherwise everything will be full with borage. 
but if I let it grow it is a win-win situation because at the borage there are many insects and the insects are, um, are pollinate my, my vegetables so the insects had their fun and their food and I had my food I make another dream true. I can make now my own soap. I've learned it now. I had one for the body with flowers inside for an peeling effect. And this here, the rose soap is for the hair. And I make also one with a um, cover of wool. So it is more soapy with this. And oh, they're smelling so good. And the the important part why I do this is that I don't need plastic soaps from the supermarket. I, I want to serve, I want to save the, the planet and don't use so much plastic. So, and this is a small step for me, but it makes me so happy. This was my update to my self-sufficiency and in the summer times, in the late summer time, when everything is growing and had fruit in the vegetable garden, I will make again an update because most of you write me that you want to see how I live, how I work at home, um, want to hear a few tips and tricks in the vegetable garden and with the animals. So if you had any wishes, um, for what I should make a video self-sufficiency or a vegetable garden or any other team let me know please write it here down in the comment as if you have any wishes so I had to thank you for watching and I am happy when we see us again at the next movie have a great time bye bye